I'm Nancy Garretts, and I am your host tonight. I'm so happy to be here with a great crew and uh, for Queens Public Television. I've been here for so many years, and I love it here. Well, I haven't been in this room in a long time. This is the big studio. I have sunglasses on because there are such bright lights in here. It's amazing the lighting that they've done in here. It's, there's been a lot of changes. It's been a long time since I've really been in this room. Last month I was here for a little bit. But um, it was a lot of fun, too, last month. But this month, we really have a special show for everyone out there. So don't change that dial. You can call in and ask questions. And if there's something that you miss and you can't get in at the end of the show, you can always call up, and I'll answer any of your questions. So don't worry if we miss your phone calls. And if we cut you off short, please, no offense to anyone out there. It's going to be a Halloween show. We have a, a, a great chef over here with us right now. We have beautiful models here. We have handsome men. We have a great crew. And it's a very sunny day. And I know that the show is for cancer awareness, but it, we also want to celebrate life. And we want to have fun. And we want to support those who are in need who do have cancer and who are survivors, and there are a lot of them here today, and also the ones that we lost in the past. But to celebrate is what we want to do. We want to celebrate life. And with that, with good food and staying healthy and nourished is very important. So right here we have Madam Chef Tara. Hi. How are you Very tonight? Nice to meet you. You're wondering why I have sunglasses. These lights are bright. <laughs> My goodness, I feel like I'm in Florida. <laughs> um, this is so special to me to have you here, and your food is delicious. I know that you made a big pot, and we're not bringing that out because we're going <clears> to <throat> eat that later on in the show. Yes. But right next to you, how are you, Dave? How are you doing? Oh, good. With I'm my so little sweetie. fingers. Let me, let and me then this is Chef. And put on my, oh, my boo. You've been a bad girl, so <laughs> you know. My boo. So, this is Madam Chef Tara. This, what is this here? Well, tonight I wanted to bring a bit of my culture and uh, some of my childhood. So, my family's from Haiti. So, growing up, uh, I went to school here in America. So, when I would come home for, when I used to be able to come home for lunch, so my mom used to always have soup and a sandwich for me. Oh my God, oh, that cool. sounds so yummy. Yeah. I love soup and a sandwich, that's great. Yeah. Wait a second, this soup uh, looks very, very hard to eat. Yes, this is a and different soup. the smell soup. is amazing. I've been it is, I know, I know. Up. Yes, this soup is what we call jumu. Jumu is almost like a squash soup. It's like, okay. it has pumpkin, it has Ooh. carrots, celery, onion, leeks in it. Leeks? It, yes, Ooh, leeks, wow. and it also has uh, potatoes, but malanga. A potato. Oh, so what? A malanga. malanga. You so say good. malanga, we say malanga. Malanga? Mm -hmm. Oh, so, so that's Spanish, yes, yeah. So yes. But I'm not Spanish, people. I understand a little bit, though. Yes. Okay. But in Haiti, they speak Creole. Creole is a mixture of Spanish and French. So I there's some, some friends, words yeah. that are in French that are same in so Spanish. So this particular soup is called? Jumu. Jumu. Yes. And what does that stand for? It just stands for like a soup, like a, usually this type of soup we eat for the new year, like uh, also, oh, nice. and as a blessing, usually you went for the new year, oh, when the new year blessing. comes over, people come over and you make a big pot of it and it's kind of like giving good luck oh, my God. and oh, well nice. wishes. Oh, thank you. Yes. Oh, thank you so much for mm -hmm. doing that. And it's perfect to and for yeah. help. Let me see if I'm saying this right. Wow, yay, I'm going to give you an applause to you. Right. Hey, audience, give a round of applause for saying that. Yeah. So We're going to test them out food. later. Yes. In the kitchen. Uh, the sandwich that's on the side is actually uh, marrying in with coming with Thanksgiving. So oh, I have oh a God. roasted I, turkey breast I mean, sandwich. I, should I taste it? Yes. I is it spicy? No, it's not spicy. Oh, it's actually oh, a good hearty. Really? And it's great to have during the winter season. Wow. And, and what is in the sandwich? The sandwich is a roasted turkey. Actually, a roasted turkey, so a great way to use your leftover turkeys oh, to, cool. to make a roasted turkey sandwich with uh, spring mint, veggies, tomatoes, and a cranberry mustard. Oh my goodness. To go well Can I take you home with me? <laughs> <laughs> You're not the first person that asked oh. said that. <laughs> and I won't be the last. No. Oh my goodness. Would you like to try some? Just a little, please. Yes. Later. I will taste one spoon. Okay. And um, 
I would definitely um, let you pass uh, to uh, Dave, mm -hmm. and then I will eat the That's rest so later. That's so clean and nice. Yes, and it's actually let's a give her a spoon, and we'll cheers, and let's see what it tastes like. Is it spicy at all? No, it's actually, uh, it just has like a little black pepper. Some, uh, okay. in cultures, they put uh, yeah. like a habanero pepper in it to give habanero it like Habanero pepper? Yes, yeah, so or a scotch bonnet. Because hey. in well, the winter time, where did you, you learn how to cook? And, and did you mom. go to school? Yes, I did go to culinary Mommy's. school. Yes. yes, my mom. I can't my wait to taste this. Thank you. Here you go. Mm. Oh, thank you. Because if not, oh my god. Oh my oh, god. I am taking okay. some thank home. You. Too. <laughs> 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 oh, I can't it's double so dip. Get delicious. Out. How many proposals have you gotten? <laughs> Everyone <laughs> wants to be your their husband. It's very delicious. Thank your you. husband or wife. Mm. Oh, it's so good. Thank oh you. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you. Put this down there, please. Oh, my God. That, Thank you. That will, that'll take me, like, a little while to eat that. It is a hearty soup. It's very good, like, in the winter time because it's something to get you going. That's always well, said that if lunch. I wasn't on a set, mm -hmm. I would eat that whole thing right now. But I'm I'll taking it with me it. after the set. <laughs> I would wrestle you for it. No, this is plenty. You go to Whole Pop for everyone to share. Exactly. Thank you so much. So you said to me that you started cooking uh, when you were a child you learned from your mom is yes, that is that my how mom, it started my grandmother family neighbors oh, nice. from all different cultures Where, and, and you're from Haiti yes my goodness it's just, is there Haiti? any part that's what I was just gonna ask her Port what part was that again Port wow it's the and the climate is always high or yes it's like it's like always like almost like 100 degrees over there over but I it's know Dominican heat. Republic is hot there. You are you They're close cousins. to Dominican yes. Republic? Oh, yeah, really? we're actually cousins. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Primo. So when are you right. going next time to visit? I would love to go maybe sometime next year in the like close to the spring, so so, so I can bring my daughter. Well, that'd be great. Mm -hmm. I know she's here, and I want to thank you so much. And we're going to have a surprise sh uh, fashion show for cancer awareness. Mm -hmm. So everyone is wearing a little something. And I'm just me tonight, yes, Nancy. I'm, I'm dressed up as Nancy, and mm -hmm. and this mm -hmm. is uh, well, you're you're in uniform, Chef. Yes, I have my costume already, Madam Chef Tara. Mm -hmm. And why did you start, you know, doing this? You told me that you started doing this for everybody and love cooking. And I how many years you've been doing this for everyone? Now you're <laughs> sharing with the whole world, yeah. right? I've been cooking for almost ten, for like as a professional for over ten years. I always enjoy cooking. I enjoy feeding people. I love comfort foods from no matter where you come from. It doesn't matter what country you oh come from goodness. or from the States. And, I and, just and love comfort you know, foods. you're in Queens right now, right? Yes. And, and I know how far you drove or, or took a train. <coughs> how far did you drive? Uh, I drove. For how many hours it, did it take you to get here? It's about an hour and a half. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my not goodness. Bad. That's not you bad. Got a heart, you have heart. Uh, and I'm so happy to have you here. Thank you Thank so much you. for sharing I this appreciate wonderful being food. Here. Thank you for sharing. And for I me. am going to be eating very healthy. Yes, the crew, very plenty healthy. for the crew. Oh, thank you, thank you so much. And and does it take a long time, this recipe to cook? It's a slow, yes, it's slow, low and slow. It takes about over an hour, so because some things have to be cooked separately and blended together, and like all, all of it has to simmer. So you have to, so blend, it's over you have an to hour. cook it first and then blend yes. it afterwards? So yeah, so like there's certain vegetables oh. like do you give away recipes sometimes? Yes, I mean, you people do? who want to learn, anybody can learn how to cook. I tell people, boil water, you can cook. Mm -hmm. No, but I mean, suppose you that particular me. dish. I'm very jello. <laughs> no, you don't. Yes, She's I'm not taking well, okay, it. Because serious. you've cooked for me. I do, the but you know, just <laughs> the process. I actually burn jello. No, that's you? not okay. true. Um, <laughs> I did jello. Everybody, everybody can be redeemed. And, and, and I, I, I you know, we had so much food today <laughs> that our bellies, I don't know how we're going to leave here tonight. We not only have Madame Chef Tara's food, we have Anna's food too, which. We've been eating all night in the kitchen. Oh my God, food is so Oh my much. God, you in the kitchen too. Did yes. you get a chance to eat her yes, food? Yes, I did. Oh As my chef, God. I love Actually, her it's Elena's. Elena's catering. Yes. We, oh my God, the food was so good. It was so From good. Where? And Joey? To the other side. And Joey came here to say hello, everybody. Hi, Joey. And I'm staying out of the camera. No, oh, no, you're not. Come on in. No. The food is delicious. Did <laughs> I you know, taste I ate it? it. Everything was delicious. Oh my God. We are so blessed tonight. New speaking we are so game. blessed. Everybody okay. wants to support her. And, and, and everybody wants to support you. 
and Thank her you. and all of the women here. There are mainly women here. There's one gentleman in the house that's actually in the audio in the in the audience. Um, the whole thing over here that people are gonna see us. I mean I'm so excited I can't even <laughs> speak. There's so many women supporting cancer awareness. I'm so happy about that. People are struggling and struggling so hard to survive and we lost so many people. Mm -hmm. And and I, and I thank you for coming to this show. Thank you. Truly, from the bottom of my heart. And your daughter's going to be modeling. She's going to be a pirate. Yes. <laughs> oh, you gave wait. it away. No, but do we have a we have so many exciting girls coming out tonight and more. So Elena Catering, oh, she made interrupt. the best lasagna I ever tasted. The audio guy, oh, he said Joey. save him some food because he didn't get oh, to eat before. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. goodness. I have we plenty. have people requesting your food. And, um, yes, the one thing about this is I, I always have plenty of food. I don't know how I'm going to Thank take you. your food home with me because I did not bring a jug. Mm -hmm. With me to put that in. So I already I asked know. her to save me a plate and also <laughs> Anna, please. She actually has a little pain, but we just don't. No. <laughs> oh, excuse me. You brought your own thermos to take this home? I, don't look, tell cups. me you did that. I got cups and rubber band. I'm good. <laughs> oh, okay. But anyway, I will take it home. And I know you have a big pot, so yeah. I'll find a way to take some home with There's me. Plenty, please. It is so delicious. And I just took a little taste, and in the kitchen, did you taste the lasagna? Yes, from I the did. Catering? Yes, I did. It was absolutely delicious. Oh my goodness! And I love the chicken. We oh both attacked the chicken wings. Yes. Oh, she yeah. said oh, the really? wings were good. I'm sorry. I hunted, you guys are I hunted so for the last you, chicken wings. Are you guys so going to be able to walk out of here tonight? No, no. somebody's going to because roll we're going to we yeah. have so much food in the house. We are the luckiest crew. We got the best crew here tonight, also. Yes. yes. So everybody, let's round of applause for the crew. Thank you. So um, I want to thank you again. I can't I appreciate begin to so much. like You're not welcome. stopping you. When we get a good meal, it, uh, we're always happy. No, not just hear us, yeah. but you know when somebody cooks for you, you just can't stop. Yeah. And you know it's good when people can't even talk. They just, mm. you think yeah. they're praising God because yeah. it's, mm. yeah. Mm. yeah. Hold on. Yeah. David, you're too, mm. you're too mm. funny, David. Yeah. But it's true. You know it's true. When something is good, you think, oh, God. <laughs> you're too It's food. a religious moment. Uh, yeah. You're too food. That's why they call so, it comfort food. So, That's why so I tell it. me, Madam Chef Tara, yeah. you sh do you like, to, like say if I'm, ha I'm having a birthday party, would you cook for me for, if I tell you come over and cook for my birthday? Yes. Yeah. As long as I have access to your kitchen, oh, I cool. can make uh, your You're going to cook in my kitchen? Yes, your event will be an edible success. Oh, nice. Oh, my God. And, and you don't cook it at home and then bring it to, you cook mm -hmm. it in the person's kitchen? Yes, if they would like, you know, everything can be done in, in their intimate setting. Oh, that oh, sounds nice. great. I love that. Oh, oh my God. Audience, what nice. do you think? Oh, my God. Everything with us. No, no Thank problem. you. It's been really nice meeting you. Thank you. And um, you can take a seat, and we're going to have the wandering aid come up right now. Okay. Thank you so much. Play musical chairs. Mm -hmm. All right, no thank problem. you. So, audience, thank if you have any questions later on, you can ask questions. And if you can't reach her, um, you can contact me at the end of the show, and uh, we'll put you in contact with her great recipes. Come on over. Hi. Yeah, how Hi. are you? I want to get you doing tonight. You're at a Halloween party. Yeah. With great food. Yes. You, are, are you enjoying, uh, did you did you get a chance to enjoy all this I great did. food? Yeah, yeah, it's, um, um, I, I always <laughs> love Haitian food because I've done a lot of work in Haiti. So. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, great. So it's quite a nice to meet you. And, and you, both, you both have an organization called Wandering Aid? Yes. yes and, you, and, and your name is? Sunder. Sunder. I've been saying that a million times, Sunder, instead, and you write it as Sanders. Yes. With an S instead of a Z. It's a, it's no, like it is still a S, S, Sunder. It's just more like a Sunder. U sound instead of an A. Okay, and Sunder and... and Wow, you have a great partner here. Yes. Wow. Eleanor. Eleanor. Hi. How are you? I'm doing great. It's a pleasure to be I here. I remember last month you came on for a second, but I'm so happy you're here tonight to tell people about the Wandering Aid and what it's about. Thank you for having what, us. You're welcome. And, and you had photos. Uh, you told me that you're a painter? Mm-hmm. So, so what's a Wandering Aid about? Wandering Aid visits um, maps and connects nonprofits around New York City. So we have an online and printed map based off of the human needs that those nonprofits uh, give to people. 
And on the back of all of those maps is a painting that I've made from the people that were at those nonprofits. That is so creative. And how long have you been doing this? I saw one of your paintings of Davy and a map on the last show. It was Thank beautiful. You. Yeah, well, we have a, um, a sample of the printed map here. Uh, it's a prototype at this point. Wow. Mm -hmm. That is so interesting. Hold that up. So, so it's all based off the subway map. And these are different resources that, that have help for people that they may need all uh, categorized. Oh my god, housing, what, what are some of the things? Housing, food, food and clothing? clothing, health care, child care, job services. We also have oh some god. others that are not so do you So uh, do you go out and reach out if someone can't, you know, like, s if they're out of a job, if somebody's out of a job and they can't even afford to take a bus? Just saying, people, not everybody's in that position. Now with the rents, the rising rents, is really hard these days. So do you go to them? Do you reach That's out exactly to them and what help we do. Them? We first do a lot of research into what organizations are already out there, and then by visiting them, we start to put it through our own lens. And our lens has to do with six qualifications that we decided while I was working in Greece and Sunder was at home in New York, we had so much experience. We decided that accessibility, oh. inclusivity, a path to independence, safety, cleanliness and sustainability are all things that we need to take into consideration on every nonprofit that says they help people in New York. That's wonderful. Yes, safety you're may amazing. be different if you're talking about um, a food resource, you know, where you, you're, you're looking for, you know, certain... Um, Forgive me, I just safety. have to take a drink. Where, and, you know, and it might be very different when you think about shape, safety for a shelter. But safety is still important for both. Safety is important for everyone. Exactly. So we, we vet all of the categories based on those same six categories. Mm -hmm. It just may look a little now, different. Now, you have told me, I spoke to you with three way together on the phone, and, and I've, I've met her, of course, last month, but you weren't around. I think you weren't available. It was like a last minute thing. Mm -hmm. um, what inspired you both to join together? I mean, did you both decide to do this together at the same moment? Who started this wandering aid, or was it at the same time you both decided? What, what's the story? Um, I think that it was just, you know, it's, it started out that, that she came to me um, to, because she was going on her first aid uh, mission. She worked at two different Syrian refugee camps. And she knew that I had... And was that here in New York City? That was in Greece. In, no. Yeah. And you were in Greece at the same time? No, no, I was not. This was before she left for Greece. It wasn't, we met in New York City just oh, to you talk met about, you about it. Spoke about I knew it. I wanted to do something, and I knew I wanted to do something with displaced people, and I saw how large the refugee crisis is, and that's why I reached out to him, because I knew I wanted to do something, but I really needed some guidance around the aid community. That is wonderful. Oh, my goodness. So then when You're she came back after work. six months in Greece, that's when we got together, and actually, it was while you were in Greece, we talked almost every day while she was in uh, Greece doing this. And I think it was while you were there that we really figured out that we wanted to keep something going and do something more when she got back. That's wonderful. And then, did you like it? I'm going to try to take you. Oh my goodness, these bright lights are really too. I feel like I'm uh, in Florida. I'm putting them <laughs> back on. They're really <laughs> bright. You have to adjust to this light. Did you? How did you enjoy G Greece? Was it nice the weather? While you were there, was it great? It was hot? I left January 10th, so it was quite cold. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. I wore ski socks um, every day. So yeah, um, I would say that it was a perspective altering experience. Uh, did I have a nice time? It wasn't really a vacation. And a lot of people that were was it, Were you there thinking about, you were doing the wandering aid? Did you already start that at that point when you were in Greece? Sunder and I kept talking about what we thought well, that about I heard helping, you, but, you would just but it was those first ideas and those first conversations that made us understand we were kind of on a similar wavelength. And so you wanted to reach out and help people. Right. And then we just, by talking almost every day, we started saying, okay, well, I'm experiencing a aid community. What are some of the good things here? What are some things that need to be improved? This is great. So that calendar is wonderful, and you did so many beautiful pictures, and, and you have pictures also? Yeah, so just to give 
Um, are you showing the pictures, or are they going to be on the slides? What are we doing here? Because I know that you had site. Oh my goodness, it's they, they seem to be very heavy. <gasps> they're not heavy at all, actually. Oh, they're not. They're beautiful. They are so nice. Wow. So this is one. First of all, I work the when we say that we have the six qualifications, I follow those too. So these are sustainable paintings. They're made out of egg tempera, birch wood, which is native to New York City. This is walnut ink. So this is a painting of me visiting one of those resources. That's beautiful. But this was actually one of the last paintings that's that I nice. did. Very nice. When we go to these resources, something that's really important to us is meeting people who are there and understanding what they think about the that is resource. Amazing. So this is somebody that we met at one of our resources oh on the map. Oh my goodness, you're so talented. Oh, thank you. God bless you. She's wonderful. Yeah, she's she's a wonderful artist and a good heart. I love it. <laughs> that is beautiful. Beautiful. A, a great expression, too. I mean, you, you got every single detail on this person. And what Wandering Aid does that not a lot of other nonprofits do, like Charity Navigator, they list a lot of nonprofits. But they talk about nonprofits in a way that is beneficial to donors. What Wandering Aid does by going out and visiting nonprofits and mapping them and having these qualifications, we can but go to places picture, that don't work. This picture, I mean, right here, I mean, wh what's the, the top about it? Looks like a Do you want to talk about it? Yeah. It looks like a hurricane. Or okay, something. so so the thing about when if you're vetting resources from a needs based perspective, mm -hmm. what you sometimes find is that the place you go doesn't actually give the help that you they, they, they say they do. And so this is representative of a clothing resource we went out to vet. I actually went out to vet it, which is why she asked if I wanted to talk about it. And when I got there, it turned out that it was a vintage shop. They did not have free clothing for people in need that needed clothes. They were just they were just a vintage shop. And they had a, they found a way to get themselves listed on a list of clothing resources that, that we found. That we can get for free. And so she decided to do a painting. Usually her paintings are of people that we meet when we're And when sometimes we're at these can't, but people, there are no people can't here get help. She wrote, get help. She put that on the bottom. Yeah. Yes. Sometimes, uh, sometimes, so yeah. sometimes people can't get help. That's right. what it says. So that's, that's what this that's painting what she represents, wrote. is that it's is that sometimes we just don't find the help at all, and they don't end up on our maps. Because I'm looking at it, I'm like, well, why was it like that? And it, it all makes sense now why she painted that mm -hmm. in, in that way. You are so creative. Thank you. I couldn't have done it without the help of no, Don of Bean course. and Thunder. He, he's like, Thunder, right? Like lightning? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, wow. That's what you two are both amazing. You're doing, and so, you, are you available like five days a week and people contact you um, anytime or, I well, mean. We would, we suggest that people actually look at the, the places that are already on our map um, or calendar or whatever we, we list in different ways. Yeah, you know, look at the, the, for the thing you need and see if we've already been to and vetted a, a, a place that uh, is nearby. Um, right, because we did have a conversation about something and you said we'll let you know. Yeah. Yeah. So, so certain things, are, are different areas, correct? Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. So and different days, you do different things. Well, some of the things. Areas? Well, you know, some of the things that we list, they have specific days uh, that they that they do this work, and others um, are. Uh, Could you hand me the map, location. please? Sure. A good example of this, and again, this is definitely a prototype, and we're working all the time to make it even better, but. This is a printed version. Oh, I love that. Savage. She looks cute. That's beautiful. Mm. Right. Very so nice. <laughs> the, all the paintings are done in the same oh, size as the, the map. Oh, and the dates are on it and everything. But down here is where a calendar is. And on our website, you can go on and there's a calendar version so you can know when the places are open. Oh, that's wonderful. That's a yeah, great so idea. That way we can help as many people as possible. So they and can find if, out yeah, on your website. Get, Absolutely. To get, then, of course, people can come contact us directly. That is great. And we will try to help them. Okay. And then when we find a good resource for that person that needs help, then we can add it to our system. Thank people you so reaching much. out to us and sharing their stories mm -hmm. really empowers us as an organization as well as at times gives them a platform to help others that are in the same situation as them. You know there are so many people out there that need that help. 
Well, I want to thank you two so much for coming on the show and sharing all this. Thank you so Absolutely. much. Absolutely. Thank you for having us. Thank you. It's been a pleasure seeing you once again. <laughs> I am going to have um, a fashion show in honor of cancel awareness. You know that, right? Yeah. Right. And there's a lot of advisors out here. Something about a slideshow? Oh, a yes. slideshow. Do you have one for us? We do. Oh, you do? Yes, we do. Oh, can you show the slideshow? That would be great. Absolutely. Yay! Thank you. you Want to go back and forth? Um, sure. Yeah. Um, this wonderful. first screen. This is this is our logo and some of the icons that we use to represent the different types of resources. Um, and uh, I guess that's all there is to talk about. That it's more just an introduction. So. When I was in Greece and we were talking through these things, we decided to do something in New York City. So let's talk about what is in New York City. We have around 60,000 charities who spend billions annually. When we're talking within New York City's budget, that's $15 billion for social services. We're not talking about how many charities have funds yet. And with a population that's so large as New York yeah. City, we'd, you'd be surprised to understand that about 56% of people have some kind of material disadvantage, which can, which can cover food, clothing, shelter, childcare, or even phone services. Disabilities, you know, 56%. So more than every, if you walk down the wow, street, every other person that you walk You know why I didn't something. see it? Because I'm sitting here, so you can see it on the screen. Mm -hmm. So um, the crew did a great job, but I'm always used to looking over here and seeing the screen. So did you got your whole show put up just now they everybody mm -hmm. saw all your maps and everything that would be great yeah mm -hmm. wonderful mm -hmm. so more. Uh, yeah. more? Yeah, more? more okay because i more. can't see it like from here so i'm sorry um, i'm not seeing it i'm usually <laughs> seeing it at the same time yeah it's uh, it's over here but we i can see it this talks about our path to independence this is amazing because what we really realized was that one of the biggest problems is that people when they get help they get help in a way that requires them to keep going back for more help. They stay stuck in the shelter system, or they keep needing to get more f food donated. And, and, and you go and you help them. That's great. Thank yep. you so, so much. So that's part of that. And this that is, is our great. website. So um, we, have t we have two products right now, which is our online and printed version of our New York Needs map. Wonderful. Yep. The next oh, is that the whole, uh, sh uh, the whole side? I'm not sure if it's done Try yet. Try one more. All right, well. Um, we should if probably we're, we're move running on. Out of time, you can skip that one. Yeah, because we, um, I thought the slideshow was going can to skip be that here. One. Um, so this is our team, Eleanor Gray, Sundar Martin, Davi, um, Daniel Coase. right there, And yes. Giuseppe. She's on our board. I know she is. She's a great advocate. person, yes. She's done amazing work with us. Yes, she does. We're working towards a print run and... All Let's right. wander together. Thank so you so much. Thank you so much That's for you. showing that.